baby, don't say a word. Just wanna buy you a mockingbird. That mockingbird don't sing. Just wanna buy you a diamond ring. In that diamond ring is brass. Just wanna buy you a looking glass. In that looking glass gets broke. I'm just gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat won't go, I'm just gonna buy you a card and bow. If that card and bow roll over, I'm just gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named Rover don't bark, I'm just gonna buy you a horse and cart. If that horse and cart fall down. Just be the sweetest little baby in town. Duh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. It's gonna be okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Just needed a hug. She's in withdrawal. Can't let her mother do this to her own baby. Just wanted to get high. She didn't care. Notice how time flies. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Are you in Tuesday? Yeah, maybe sooner. Oh, that'd be great. Correct. Fifty and three eighths. You tell him if he doesn't want to make a bid at that price, then somebody else will. Well, he can always walk away, but he'll have to come running back. Right. This is a surprise. I want you to wear something really special to that ticker tape dinner on Saturday night. So I called ahead to Michelle's boutique to have them pull out a couple of things we can look at. Oh, well, I was going to wear my black lace. No, I, I'm really tired of that. And they close at seven o'clock, so. Well, it's all right. I can go tomorrow. Well, you just don't realize how good you've got it, do you? I mean, mm -hmm. most guys wouldn't even care what their wife looked like. You're still going to love me when I'm pregnant? No, no, I'm not. I just um, was talking with Julie, though, and she, she talked to me about this doctor, an infertility specialist. Well, if you really think that we should see someone, then I'll look into it, because I want to use the best. Well, Julie says that he is. Tracy, I'll take care of it. Okay. So, the next step is laparoscopy. That's an exploratory surgery. Why go straight to surgery? Because, sweetheart, if everything looks all right once I'm already in the operating room, she can just go right ahead with the procedure. Right? Yes, that's right. If I can confirm proper pelvic function, I'll place your eggs and your husband's sperm in your fallopian tubes. With any luck, that'll get us a healthy pregnancy. But I need you both to be realistic. Even if all goes well, there's still only a small percentage of success. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to be a part of that small percentage. Oh, oh, look. It's an antique. Isn't it beautiful? doesn't seem very practical. This is the biggest event of my life. What's practical got to do with it? You'll find out when your clock starts ticking. <laughs> Maybe. You really want it? Come on, let's go inside. Lunch can wait. Later. Don't tell me you have to ask Stan for the money. He'll give it to me. He always does. Tracy, I told you to not stop working. When does your broker's license expire? In three months. Listen, I have some big deals working for Sonnet. Why don't you renew it, just in case? I can probably use your help. I don't want to work with a baby. It's not right, women who work. Women who neglect their babies, who, who walk out on them. That's why I quit my job with the husband. Mm, sorry, I don't know what's the matter with me. I sound like I'm on a talk show or something. <sighs> Take a ride. Here we That's go. Not Whoa. <laughs> Here we okay. are. Now, he's the kind of cradle that can be in our family for generations. Uh-huh. Um, Tracy, it's, uh, it's 
it's too soon. Well, we'll be needing it for our little Lily. Lily? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the cradle is enough for now. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Okay. Okay. Look at the monitor. What's wrong? I found a malignancy in your wife's left ovary. Pathologist just came back with the results. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, what happens now? Well, we have two options. We can perform a complete hysterectomy immediately, which will give her a good prognosis for a full recovery, assuming the cancer hasn't already spread. Or we can remove just the ovary. But it's a roll of the dice. What do you mean a roll of the dice? Ovarian cancer is one of the most lethal forms. This isn't a decision that has to be made today. You'll want to discuss these options with your wife. No, no, uh, I'm not going to put her through that. You've just told me that you could very well end up doing a hysterectomy anyways. Well, yes, medically, you're right. But if you were her, wouldn't you want... Stan, you know how obsessed Tracy is about having a baby. She'd rather die than not be able to. No, this is my point. If I let her make this decision, we could, we could lose more than the hope for a child. We could lose her. Not necessarily. There is a chance. No, no. This is my wife. I am not taking any chances. But Mr. Patterson... I have her sign consent. I am telling you what to do. He's right. You don't know what you'd be putting her through if you leave this decision to her. I'm in pain. A lot more than you told me to expect. I know you are. I'm not pregnant, am I? No. I don't care what you put me through to fix me. As long as the next time you operate, I wake up pregnant, okay? Promise me. I can't. Tracy. I thought your husband had told you there won't be a next time. You had cancer. No. I'm sorry. Why didn't you just kill me? How'd your meeting go this morning? They really liked my designs. <laughs> but, you know, they can't start the second phase until their financing comes through. Once it does, I got the inside track. Honey, that's wonderful. What's that? <laughs> you think the baby will like it? I'm sure she will.
Everything's going to be all right this time, isn't it? Don't do that to yourself. We are not going to lose this one. What brought this on? Patient today, the hospital had cancer. Totally had the blue. I had to do a hysterectomy. She expected me to give her a baby. Eva, you're a good doctor. You're not a miracle worker. Would you feel better if you hadn't found the cancer? I would feel better if I had talked to her. Her husband had legal consent. Medically, it was the right thing to do. I just... I wish I could have waited. It's your job to give people the facts, not to make their personal decisions for them. Just a seen her face. On that altar. Sweetie? Are you going to that lunch today with Julie and Sabrina? I canceled. I'm not ready to see anyone. cheer you up. Lunch won't help. You've been sitting in this bed for three weeks. I just can't stand watching you do this to yourself anymore. So don't. You don't understand what it's like to grow up getting a different mother every time the county feels like moving you. I never had a real family. Sweetie, you can. We can adopt. No one who looked like me. No one who acted like me. No one who had any little part of me in them. If you just give it a chance. Thanks for coming by. You've been invited to appear on Woman to Woman. You interested? Mm, you know, I can't tell from this what their approach would be. Should you look into it for me? The Greens are next. Okay, thanks. No, she went straight to a hysterectomy. All right. I thought she had to. Well, it's a very common approach to this sort of problem. But not the only one? Well, I'm sure Dr. Warden did the right thing. I mean, she probably would have had to do the hysterectomy at some point down the road. Using it as her first line of treatment, she may have saved you both time and suffering. But you're saying there was a choice? Well, there's always some choice. But what she chose was the most conservative course of action. Safest for you. Mrs. Patterson. How could she have done that without even asking me? Well, she got your husband's permission, Mrs. Patterson. It's right here in the file.
Hi. How would you drive up? Son of a bitch! What the How hell? could you do that to me? What the hell is wrong with you? You told her to operate. You told her to take everything out. I had to. It saved your life. Maybe the cancer hadn't spread. Maybe I didn't need a hysterectomy. Or maybe if you bought a lottery ticket yesterday, you'd be a millionaire today. Sweetie, sweetie, come here, come here. I do my gambling at work. I'm not going to take bets over whether you live or die. I love you too much for that. I could have beaten. Well, that's not what Dr. Warden said. Just ask Sabrina. She was there, too. What'd she say? The same thing I did. Come. And we were right. I mean, look, it's, it's been over a month now, and there's not any sign of cancer whatsoever. If I hadn't given Dr. Warden the go-ahead, we would be in some hospital right now facing the same decision. And you would have gone through hell to get there. You think I'm all right now just because the scars have healed? Just because you can't see anything wrong on the outside? Where's that medication she gave you? Here, come on. I don't want any. Come on. I don't need it. Take this. You need it. You are absolutely driving yourself crazy over this again. Here, come on, take it. Tracy, take them. Come on, I hate you! I hate you for what you did! And I love you, and I did what was best for you. Come here. Come on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Get away from me! It was a beautiful service. Let me take you home. Oh, I don't want to go back there. I can't stand it. Come on, Tracy. All they wanted was a baby. There's nothing left for me now. Tracy, I know it's not going to be easy, but you are a fighter. And we'll be right there to help you. Honey, you're young. You're beautiful. There's a whole new life waiting out there for you. I promise. It's all in the trust? You'll be receiving monthly disbursements. Considerably large sums, I might add. Stan made sure you'd be well cared for. I want to sue Eva Warden. Tracy, Dr. Warden did what was procedurally correct. How she outlined all the facts and the options for Stan, and you gave him your consent before the surgery. Yes, to make decisions for me in case of an emergency. Well, in their judgment, this was an emergency. She shouldn't be allowed to do this to anyone else. What if other patients filed complaints to the Medical Association? Could she lose her license? Well, I suppose anything is possible if enough patients complain, but that would be extremely unlikely. She is a reputable physician. I would suggest that you focus your energy on more positive things. Your first check. complaints at the hospital against Eva Warden? Tracy, I know this is going to be hard for you to believe, but she's one of the best doctors in her field. Put it behind you. Try to move on. Switch tables? No, no. I'm fine. Oh, 
you excuse me? Gold or silver? No. Well, not unless you count this. <laughs> here you are, Miss Evans. Sign here, please. Oh, we, uh, we brought this little boy with us. He's an orphan. What's one more or less? Hong Kong is full of them. Thank you. You may go on through now. Have, have I had an accident? No. Quite safe for me to sit up, huh? Miscarriage is extremely common today. We combat the problem by giving women progesterone to nourish and strengthen their pregnancies. But what about side effects with that now? Are there any side effects that women should be concerned about? Other than the price? None. I'm completely comfortable prescribing it. So the prescription then, are we talking about pills or capsules or... No, the medication comes in a small vial. Each one contains about ten doses. It's administered by injection. Ah, so the women have to inject themselves? <laughs> Sounds a lot worse than it is. I... Oh, well, I guess I can tell you. I'm pregnant myself. And having miscarried before, I'm taking progesterone. Oh, I'm sure. Um, congratulations on your pregnancy, Dr. Morton. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Yeah, I'll have to check it. Can you wait just a minute? I'll be right back. As you can see, the neighborhood is gorgeous. You're very lucky. Houses don't usually become available in this area. Yes, it's very nice. Why are they selling? Now that they're starting a family, they want to find a house that's safer for children. Look at this view. Isn't this extraordinary? And the architecture, truly dramatic, functional, yet interesting. This is really the perfect home for an upscale couple. I'm going to have a baby, too. So I, I don't really know if I'd feel all that comfortable with all this water and pool and everything, but thank you for your time. I'll call you soon. Bye. Thank you.
Dr. Warden, it's Anita. One of the lab results from biomedical came back borderline. Should we wait to tell the patient until after you've had a chance to talk to BML? Let me know. Bye. I've been wanting to try something new, so I was wondering if there were any openings. There aren't. But you can leave an application on file. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, I've always been interested in the medical field, but I don't have any experience. Well, neither did I. You don't really need any unless you work in the lab. Katie, here are this morning's results. Well, you're looking irresistible today. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. And who's this? Ms. Patterson. She's applying for a job. Well, we'll just have to move her application to the top of the pile. Thank you. See you later. He looks like a nice guy to work for. Of course, if my husband ever saw something like that... I know. Every time I even mention Dr. Shaw's name, mine goes ballistic. Mm. <laughs> well, I think this is all filled in, so thank you very much for your help. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hey, good luck. Thanks. John, Larry, you guys did a great job on this one. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Big budgets, big egos. Big press. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have left us so soon. Oh, come on, you guys. He's doing great. How are you doing? About the same as Frank Lloyd Wright. His first week in business. <laughs> We've got some mid-sized developers on our list who would jump at the chance to make you cut your rates on your way up. I'll give them a call. Thanks. I think. <laughs> Be wonderful.
Hello? Is this Mr. Doyle? The man who thinks he's married to Katie Doyle? Who's this? Dr. Shaw's wife. You tell that little tramp of yours to keep her hands off my husband or else. Who's that? It's your boss's uh, wife. She says you've been playing doctor. What? I want you to quit your job tomorrow. Why? I haven't done anything wrong. Because I'm telling you to. You quit your job tomorrow, you get yourself another one. How did this get here? Martha must have knocked it down when she was cleaning today. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, aren't you the one who was just telling me how well things are going? Yes. No problem. I can come down this morning. Okay, goodbye. Sheila, this is Tracy. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Here you go. Thank you. You'll handle the phones. Now, every morning you'll get the results of the tests that were run and entered in the computer the night before. You'll phone the appropriate doctors with the results. Those are the phone numbers. You must be accurate because these results can affect people's lives, okay? Okay, I know, I'll be careful. I'll call you with the results. Great. Okay. Dr. Warden, there's two lines holding a Dr. Cohen on line one and... Dr. Warden? Dr. Warden. You all right? Anita, call Gary. I'm bleeding. Thank you. BML, how may I help you? Who's calling? Uh, I'm sorry, he's busy right now. Could I take a message? Just a second. Dr. Shaw, I'm sorry to bother you, but there's a Dr. Eva Warden on the line. She says it's an emergency. Okay. Eva. Yeah, of course you can. It's for you. Well, sure, as soon as we get a sample. Well, no, I haven't seen anything yet. Hang on a sec. Tracy, did a blood sample come in from Dr. Warden's office? No, I haven't received anything. Okay, thanks. Eva? Okay. 
Thanks. Wants us to come over, draw another sample. To run the test himself. Smith, HCG positive, Hatfield, HCG negative, and that's it. Bye. Could you cover for me? I gotta go to the ladies' room. Excuse me. I'm Dr. Eva Warden. Dr. Shaw is gonna run a test for me. Yes, Dr. Warden. He's expecting you. Thank you. Just can't believe this is happening again. Eva, I know we've had setbacks, but you are going to have this baby. Sweetheart, I'm going to give John and Larry a call. Tell them I want to go back to work for them. What's that got to do with this? I don't want you working so hard. I'm sure that's what's caused this. No. Gary, it's not. Forget about that job. I just need you. Good news is your level is 18, so the pregnancy is still viable thanks to the fact you're so far along. But your progesterone level is low. You haven't missed any shots, have you? No. Well, maybe shoot up the dosage. Way up. I'm going to triple it. <laughs> Honey, please don't worry. I just know something is going to turn up for you. I don't want you working for anybody but yourself. Sabrina? Hi, it's Tracy. Listen, I've been thinking maybe I should go back to work. So, uh, if you've got some time, I'd love to get together with you, hear what you've been up to. Maybe we can have lunch. So, uh, call me when you get back in, okay? Bye. Well, why don't you have the manufacturer test the batch you have at home? Uh, maybe it's out of date. In the meantime, use this proven stuff. Yeah, okay. Look. You haven't lost the pregnancy, and you probably won't as long as you take care of yourself, which means staying off your feet and cutting down on your stress. I'll pick up the slack around here. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to take a break. It's Anita calling from Dr. Warden's office. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful news. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is surprising. You'll probably be getting your period within a few hours. Sabrina? Hi, Trace. Come on in. How you doing? I'm good. Look at you. You look great. Thank you. See, I knew you'd be ready to jump back in again at some point. This is just sooner than I expected. Well, is your offer still open? Sort of. Come on, I'll get you a coffee. The offer's open. It's just that your timing is a little off. I'm trying to get Sonnington to expand on his West Coast development, and I don't think that I can get him to pay for two people out here yet. Well... Money's not important right now. Yes, it is. It's the principal. Where do things stand? Well, I'm working on the financing on a few parcels. Trying to get some architects to do the specs on them. How about if I were to come work for you just for a few hours every day? I really need to get the feel of the business again. Well, you know, you'd have to stay behind the scenes. And you wouldn't actually be working for Symington, Tracy. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'd be taking advantage of you. No, you'd be helping me. <sighs> okay. In that case, why don't you get up to speed on these? I have to go to Chicago in a couple weeks for a presentation. And if you have any thoughts, I'd like to hear about them before I leave. Okay? Mm-hmm. Did I ever tell you what a great friend you are? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Gary Warden, please. It is. 
Mr. Warden, I'm Tracy Horton with Symington. Yes, I believe I did get your name from Larry. I'm calling you regarding a uh, parcel of land we're about to purchase. Construction was begun on it, but they've gone into Chapter 11, and we're going to need to redesign once we finalize the purchase. Uh-huh. Fit the marina. That's great. Well, we won't be able to look at it until we uh, finalize the deal. You know, probably another week or two. But uh, I'll get right back to you when I have an exact date. Yes, I look forward to meeting you too. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that, Mark. Okay. Linda, come on in. I'd give you a congratulatory hug, but I... Stay there. You've done more than you'll ever know. Jim and I are so thrilled. So am I. I'm so grateful. You know, I never thought I'd see this day. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised myself. Anita! I'll be writing, Doctor. Linda, when was your follow-up test taken? Yesterday morning. Why? These levels are off. Anything wrong? It's probably nothing. Anita, would you take Linda and draw another blood sample? So I'd be a mill rerun those tests. Come on, honey, let's get this over with. Okay. Excuse me, Dr. Warden. We tested Nancy Sims and got a negative, but she didn't get her period, so she used an at home test. It said she was pregnant. And you know how inaccurate those things are. When was her HCG performed? Two days ago. So late yesterday, we took another and look. She's pregnant, all right. Dr. Warden's office. Where is the BML printout for this week? Here. It matches the results they gave us over the phone. I have patients flipping out on me. What's going on? I don't get it. You get BML on the phone. I should have seen it coming when Anita brought me Linda Collins' results. The chances that she would be pregnant without in vitro. Or... Dr. Wharton. There's another one. We told her she was pregnant. I know. I know. I should have gotten up out of this chair that minute. I should have gone out there and looked over all those results. Instead, I just sat there. And acted just the way I would have. Just the way I did. <sighs> Would you please connect me with Mr. Frank Nolan? Mr. Nolan? Hi, this is Tracy Patterson. Uh, you wrote that article on Dr. Eva Warden? Yes, well, I believe there's a few things you should know. Hi, honey. Smells good. Ah, you really? I know you just couldn't stand to be away from me. Want to talk about it? Not now. I want to forget about it. Some good news. Simon can call. You remember one of those mid sized developers Larry was talking about? They're thinking about giving me some work. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, oh that's good. Cool. <laughs> 
I don't understand why you're putting us through this. We didn't do anything wrong. Now, let's not overreact. I'm not suspending your operating privileges. I am just investigating patient complaints and deciding whether or not to hold a hearing. I don't get it. You know those errors originated at the lab. Given the number of patient complaints, we simply must look at the possibility of a lack of oversight on your part. But that is not... And you must fully understand that I cannot allow you to continue operating without fully investigating these charges. Otherwise, the hospital's insurance is at risk. Look at it this way. Those calls went out without either one of you looking at those test results. Now, how do you feel about that? Martha, have you been going through my personal things? No, Dr. Warden, I never touched them. Not even when you put my clothes away? I just laid them on the top. I never touch the things I'm not supposed to. Well, okay, but, you know, my closets have been in total disarray. Martha, you know how particular I am. It's not me, Dr. Warden. What's going on here? I wish I knew. Things are not where they're supposed to be. I cannot find anything. Eva, Eva. Now, couldn't it be that the real estate people move some things around? I guess. It's just, I, I, I get the funniest feeling that, that somebody is watching me. Here, at the office, everywhere. Oh, sweetheart. <sighs> okay, my hormones are on overdrive. Take it easy. You're right. Oh, Martha, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of course you didn't do anything wrong. Please accept my apology. No problem, Dr. Warden. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cook for you tonight. Uh -huh. Most romantic dinner you've had in a long time. Fractured ribs, she's pregnant. Uh, say that, please. Of course, we will do everything we can, and you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. I just want to know if she's still pregnant. It was so important to her. I mean, how can I write the card without knowing? I told you, ma'am, I can't give out that kind of information. Do you want me to send up the flowers? Tell her they're from a dear friend. But what's your name, ma'am? Hi. These are my contribution. These I found on the nurse's desk out there. I picked them up when I uh, saw your room number on them. Where are they from? The card's blank. That's weird. I'm sure someone will call. Make sure you got them. Gary, get them out of here. Please. They give me the creeps. What do you mean I give you the creeps? I don't think it was an accident. When those cards came flying at me, I... Gary, I just don't think it was an accident.
What's the matter with you? Don't you have a wife, children? Four. You know, last time my wife was pregnant, she decided I was getting it on with the dispatcher. She made crank calls to that poor woman for three straight months. My wife is not a crank. All right. Would you agree she's maybe just a little excitable right now? I mean, uh, her things aren't in the right place, and the whole police department's supposed to stop what they're doing to find out why? And the doll in the pool. Yeah, and the gate was open in a neighborhood full of children. You're lucky it wasn't one of them floating face down. She is lying in the hospital right now. How would you feel if it was your wife? All right, look, uh, I'll talk to the store manager, okay? But I gotta tell you, accidents like this happen all the time. So, if anyone calls, just give him my Chicago number. Okay. Need any help? No, I'll be fine. Bye. Have a good trip. Is Gary Warden there? Oh, Gary, it's you. Hi, this is uh, Tracy Horton with Symington. Yes, I'm just calling to confirm our 3.30 appointment at the Turner site. Great. I'll see you then. They'll get it. Well, well, let's just point him back to the lab. I mean, Shaw's the one that screwed up. We will, but until then, the publicity and... And what? I've heard from the hospital administrators. They're convening a full board to consider what action they should take. Oh, my God. How are our patients taking this? We've lost eight so far today. At the rate they're leaving, I should finally be able to take up golf, if I can still afford it. How could they? How could they print this without even checking it out? Do they have any idea what it takes to build a practice? Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, shall we go up? Certainly. sitting like this former owners lost their financing about a year ago Symington's finalizing the purchase as we speak selling point here. Mm -hmm. It is spectacular. And I have uh, sketched out a few preliminary ideas for you that I hope will capitalize on it. Huh. You know, I'm not sure of sending these to Mr. Symington is the best way to go. 
Now, don't misunderstand. I, I'm impressed with your work. It's just that you've never done a really big project on your own. If you're willing to do a few more sketches on spec, Simonton has another site in San Francisco. Now, assuming your ideas for that site are as good as these, I think you stand a better shot. When would you want her to look at it? My wife's been home recovering from an accident. She uh, nearly miscarried. Oh, I'm sorry. be gone for a few days. Company. Um, let me talk to you. Sabrina, did you miss your plane? No, my plans changed. Gary, this is Sabrina Crane. The John and Larry's opening, remember? Hi. Hi. I heard a lot of good things about you. I'm Gary Warden. I'm sorry, Mr. Warden, but I need a few minutes alone with Tracy, if you don't mind. No problem. We were just about finished anyway. I'll call you in a day or two. Thank you. Bye-bye. What are you doing here with an architect? I heard you on the phone with him. Why are you spying on me? Wait a minute. Gary Warden. He's Eva Warden's husband, isn't he? He also happens to be a very good architect. Sabrina, I can explain. What? What can you explain? Why you came back to work with me? What were you planning on doing with him? Tracy, how exactly were we going to use him to hurt her? Sabrina, how can you think that? Tracy, honey, you need help letting go of this. You really do. I have been your friend for a long time. I am here for you no matter what happens. You've been more than a friend. You've been like a sister. But it's too late. He sat there, just the two of you in that hospital, and decided to destroy my life. Tracy, we were just trying to help you. You should have said something before she did it. You shouldn't have let her take away everything that ever mattered to me. We we're only doing what we thought was best for you, Tracy. Tracy, believe me. Hello? Hi. Yes, I would like to make a reservation for two rooms. Mmm. Second thought, make that sweets. Yes. And the arrival date will be the 18th. And it will be for a Miss Tracy Horton and a Mr. Gary Warden. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And if that diamond ring don't shine, I'll take away your husband and I'll make him mine. I know how those women felt. Disappointed, cheated. I can see why they would blame me. Come on. You're a good doctor. I used to think so. Now I'm not so sure. Been making a lot of mistakes lately. Eva. I'll be fine. Seriously, I want you to go. This will all blow over and I'm not due for weeks. If anything happens, you'll only be one hour's plane flight away. I don't want to leave you alone. You think I'm going to let you miss this opportunity? Have you 
Have you heard from Sabrina? I thought she'd be back from Chicago by now. No, but you know her. She's probably hot on the trail of some big deal. <laughs> you know, Tracy, I think it's really great that you decided to come back. The babies really need you. Not as much as I need them. I have David Bailey from Advanced Medical on the line. He's uh, finished the analysis of the progesterone you sent him. Yes, this is Dr. Warden. Yeah, sorry it took so long to get back to you, but uh, you had us going for a while there. Uh, what do you mean? Putting cooking oil in the progesterone vial. What was it, a bet? Cooking oil? I'm afraid you didn't win. It took some time, but uh, we figured it out. Are you saying that vial I sent you was filled with cooking oil? Come on. You didn't know? You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. So, what if we stop by my room around seven? We can have dinner and go over the maps. Sounds good. I saw Joe today. He said everything looks fine. Considering the accident, he's amazed. Oh, Eva, that's great news. How about you? How's it going? Well, I am speaking to you from the Windsor Suite. I guess you could say things are going okay. Sounds like they're taking good care of you. They are. But I wish you were here. Me too. Well, when do you see the site? We see it in the morning. When, uh... When are you coming home? Tomorrow afternoon. Are you okay? Gary, somebody switched my progesterone. What? They substituted cooking oil. That means somebody has been in this house, has gotten in some way. Uh, I'm taking the next plane home. No, don't. I'm okay for tonight, really. Just, just come home early tomorrow, okay? No, I am leaving right now. Gary, don't. I don't want you to lose this important opportunity. Please, stay. I will lock every door. I will lock every window. I will stay in this house until you get back, okay? I'm not happy about being away from you at all. At least promise me to call Detective Kramer. I will. Promise. I, I promise. Okay, um... I love you. I love you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Gary, come on in. Hi. Here, I'll take that for you. Oh, thank you. Well, this is Let quite take the your place. <laughs> thank you. Champagne? Yes, please. Here's to our new project. Oh, that was delicious. Almost as good as what your wife spoils you with at home? <laughs> My wife's an MD. And you know with MD hours, I'm the one who's usually in the kitchen. And I bet you're very good at it. Well, I enjoy cooking, I wouldn't say. And you? Well, I used to quite a bit, but... Now that I'm alone, I lost my husband not too long ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. 
But they say that time heals, and uh, I have my work. Speaking of which, you were saying on the plane something about the entrance. You think it should be on the northeast? Let me show you. Here it is, the northeast corner. There's the property line. Where? Here. It would be best to have the building's entrance facing this way. Because of the sun, the downgrade of the hill, the angle of the property. This way we could take advantage of the view. And I would design each room to capture somehow at least a glimpse of it. Hmm. Well, what if the entrance were here? Uh, well, the traffic flow would be problematical. Because of the pattern of the surrounding streets and... I'm not sure I understand. Well, it's a difficult approach. It's not optimal. Well, what if it were here? I don't think so. Are you sure? Quite sure. <sighs> Gary, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me. It's just that you're very attractive, and I guess I, I had too much to drink. Really, I didn't intend for this to happen. I just haven't had an, an evening like this in a very long time, and... Um, please, can we, can we just forget that this ever happened? You tell me. I can. And I would like you to. Really, I, I really do want you to get the Symington Project. Look, you're right. Um, we've both had too much to drink. Let's just call it a, a night. Uh, I would like to look at the site as early as possible tomorrow. Uh, how about we meet at 8.30 in front of the hotel? Oh. All right. Good night. Good night. Tenants for this project come from? There are already two high tech facilities in the planning stage, just a half mile from here. Five years from now, this will be a mini Silicon Valley. Well, Doesn't seem like we have to worry about integrating our designs into the surrounding community. I gotta make a phone call, excuse me? Sure. I, uh, I don't see any stakes or markers.
Miss Lowe? Is Detective Kramer there, please? Well, when does he get in? This is Eva Warden. He's spoken to my husband, Gary. I need to talk to him. It's, it's urgent. Yes, I know it's late, but I called this morning and he did not return my call. Please tell him that my husband has disappeared. Please give him that message. Joy Warden. Oh, what a sweet name. Welcome, Melissa. Oh, she's a tiny little thing, isn't she? She made her arrival a little bit early, but her lungs are clear. Good for her. Well, let's clean her up. I bet her mother really wants to see her. But where do you think you're going? You are. I have to check on Gary. Even if you were strong enough to go there, you couldn't take your baby. I have to. I'm afraid something will happen to her, too. Yeah, come on, sit down. I understand how you feel. Nothing is going to happen to Melissa in the hospital, all right? Careful, be yeah. careful. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Gary's in good hands. And the police are there with him. They have everything under control. Even if you went down there, you'd just get in the way. Now, I want you to lie down and get some rest. Don't you tell me to rest. Somebody tried to kill my husband, and they are still out there. Don't you tell me to rest, Joe. Joe, I am so scared. Eva. I'm so scared. Eva, stop this. It isn't going to help. Now, I know. you've got to get some rest. Come on. You've got, no, I don't. You've got to be okay for Melissa, right? I'm going to give you a mild sedative to help uh, you relax. No, I don't. It, it'll make you feel better. I want you to trust me. Uh. There we go. Now, I'll take Melissa down to the nursery. Everything is going to be okay. You get some rest. There we go. That's it. Everything will be okay. Thank you. Only mothers and authorized personnel are allowed in here, right? How many years have you been delivering babies at this hospital, doctor? Just watch this one carefully, will you? Oh, there you are. Could you find the daily log? Sure. I gotta run to a staff meeting. No problem. Have I told you lately how great it is having you back? Only every other minute. <laughs> now go on, you'll be late. Okay.
I'll just be a second, Tracy. Take you out of here soon. And I don't need you to be hungry, okay? She's not due to be fed for half an hour. Tell her that. She was crying. Really? She won't be waiting for an hour or so. You sure about that? The doctor gave her a sedative. You got a cafeteria here? Burger would show you the spot right about now. Hey, what the? 
live. Where are we going? Where is everybody? It's a busy afternoon. We had a few checkouts. I thought Eva Warden was having a rest. How could her baby be with her? Tracy? Tracy, you in there? What's going on? You're out of luck, just like I was. Excuse me, where has Dr. Warden been moved to? She hasn't been moved. She's not in her room. She has to be. I don't get it. And her baby signed out to be with her. Look at this. The crib. Oh my God. Security, this is Head Nurse Taft on the sixth floor. A baby girl's been taken. Yes, I'm sure. Detective Kramer, report to nursing station 10. Detective Kramer, report to nursing station 10. Just a little while longer, sweetie, and then she won't be a problem anymore, okay? Huh. What? Not so fast. This is a matter we have to clear up. What do you want? Now you want to know what I want. You didn't when I was on the operating table. Tracy, your husband convinced me to take away my rights to my own body? You're a woman, you should have known better. He had your legal consent. He felt the decision would be too hard for you to make. You were trying to save your life. Please, please. If only we could ask him, but we're staying. He's dead. Hey, what's going on over there? What are you two doing? You're not supposed <laughs> All right, all the doors are sealed. Nobody fitting Dr. Warden's description or the baby's has been seen leaving the hospital. It's very easy to hide a new infant. Any idea who would have taken this baby? A volunteer who's been working for me in the nursery is missing. A Tracy Patterson? Is that my baby? Not anymore. What do you mean? She's mine now. I'm going to take care of her. Tracy, I am so sorry. Sorry. It's too late to be sorry. No, it's not. I know what I took away from you. But I gave you the chance to live. You can have a family. There are other ways. But you cannot have my child. Oh, yes, I can. I've known Lily almost as long as you have. I watched her grow even gave her a little push into the world. Lily's been mine all along. Besides, you aren't going to live long enough to ever hold her again anyway.
Now, I thought about putting the archway here, but it just didn't work for me. You see, an archway has got to be enough of a statement to invite people into the building. Right? Gee, and I thought you'd be joining my practice one day. Hmm. After what we've been through, it's hard enough for me to watch you go off to the hospital every day, let alone my daughter. I know. I know. I think about it every day. Possibly happen again, could it? No. Besides, you know, we've got 20 years. You know, to help her decide what she wants to be. I like the sound of that. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mama's gonna sing you a lullaby. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mommy's gonna buy you a diamond ring Let that diamond ring don't shine I'll get another baby and I'll make her mine 